Audio trigger warning on this one. I double recorded my input, so just be aware that I'm going to sound a little bit robot in this one. We're just playing around for a bit here with Fritzel in a custom battle. Thought I'd share it with you all. Catch you guys in the next one. Yeah, just the classification of Bomber really helps for lineups. Which is why I hope that they have, like, they expand the classifications into jets. I talked about that in a video about how the F-89D is clearly an attacker or an interceptor. And yet it just counts as a jet fighter in the game. So I'd like to see it get an attacker classification. I mean, why not? Yeah, why not? You know. But I think it's uh, because uh, Guardian is not very well educated on American people. Well, I think that it's just one of those things that... I think that Jets were something special back when they made that classification to where, like calling something a jet fighter as opposed to an attacker or an interceptor meant something in a realistic battle. But I don't think that matters so much anymore. You know, just the the aircraft classification, fighter, attacker, interceptor, bomber, those things matter, but the fact that it's a jet doesn't matter. Because there's so many jets in the game now, you know? Yeah. Oh! I could see him become a paste. So. <laughs> it's so satisfying to kill an aircraft with this thing. That was with an HVAR, too. I think that was actually the first rocket I fired. Am I hitting you and we're close? Say what now? Oh, with your, with your rounds? No. Okay. This ship is so majestic. I love it. Six kilometers away. Heavy cruiser. <laughs> Guppies in the background throwing things at her baby sister going, Hiya! <laughs> Say hiya! <laughs> That's Ty! You're being friendly! You're supposed to be me! Oh lord. Holy crud. I thought I had unlimited ammo turned on, but no, that's just how many rockets I get. <laughs> Did that do anything to you? <laughs> uh, two torpedo tubes broken and one uh, 128 millimeter gun broken, but I think I'm very fine. Yeah, I get the feeling that wouldn't be a very... Uh, I think somebody was talking about how cool it would be to fly these things against naval targets, and then I'm like, uh, do you know the kind of weapon systems you'd be facing at that battle rating? Let's put the PGO2, you know, the Japanese uh, ships with the minigun, on the uh, 7th Why not? It's an absolute seal of the right? Give it the missiles and then it'll be a definitely a 7 2. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely hinted that that's something they're working on. I'm sure when, if Naval ever gets to the higher tiers, you'll have like battleships from the 40s facing off against missile carrier destroyers. <laughs> they can kill them from like 12k away. I think, you know, these famous battleships that we see and hear about, they will probably be premiums. Yeah. There goes my external fuel tank, and there goes all of my side. <laughs> that was so many hits! I am not sinking yet though. It's 30% of my crew has been exploded and is turned into liquid. Jeez. I think you will kill the crew before you actually kill the ship. Oh, Jesus Christ. I might... No? That's weird. I don't have infinite ammo. I just have lots of ammo. Yeah, Sometimes it reloads uh, immediately. I noticed that. 
So I imagine if you started shooting at me, I would be dead immediately. Yeah, I have my gunners on. They don't, they don't want to target you, though. Oh, right, because I'm friendly. <laughs> oh, same team, that's right. I will shoot you. You just disappeared. Oh, right, you're changing teams. <laughs> Cruisers out there somewhere. Yeah, so let's see what a heavy cruiser versus an F 89D looks like. <laughs> I get the feeling that you could, like, use a cheesy tactic to get some hits on the cruiser and get out of there, but I don't think you'll be taking it down anytime soon. Like, I put about 300 rockets into you, and you were still floating. Before that moment. I can tell you there were many uncontrolled fires on, on board of that deck. You're my ally again. No, we are just in the same squad. Oh, okay. How interesting. It's brother versus brother. Civil war. Civil war. In the thunder zone. Why are you doing this? <laughs> My 128s are firing the oh. oh yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good, good hit. hit. There goes half my rockets. Oh, you took the other wing too. Oh, uh, kamikaze strikes uh, sometimes <laughs> cost damage. <laughs> I like how they don't point out there that there's like 20 machine guns on this uh, ship that fire absolutely lights anything that comes close up. Yeah, it's pretty insane. They don't have a damage model either when they hold in uh, O. Ha! Huh. That's interesting. Zoe, say bye. Not you, Guppy. <laughs> I'm trying to get the baby to make her sounds. She's she does little sounds right now. She goes ba and da and ga. Yeah, you're mixing. Guppy says she's mixing applesauce and watermelon. Delicious. What are you trying to do? You're in a world of pain, buddy. Hehehe, <laughs> gun run! My bird! Why have you failed me? Oh, that bird is so satisfying, though. Are you seeing all those rounds? Yeah, I could see them. It is extremely satisfying to attack ground targets with the F-89B. Because I think the relative velocity actually matters for armor piercing rounds. So if you're in a jet diving on someone at like 400 miles per hour, it adds that speed to your AP. You can actually punch through more roof armor than the stat card says. Because I've gone through more than 36 mils of armor with those 20 mils from like half a kilometer out, because any closer and you crash into the ground. Yeah, the new 262 can penetrate the front of the T-55. I've thought about it before with the velocity of the rounds and stuff. Yeah, I think I actually asked about that. Um, and I can't... Some, some Gaijin source said that they do factor in... I can't remember what it was. I think it was on a Facebook post or something. But they said, yeah, they factor in relative velocity. So if you're diving on somebody, your AP is actually better. Than what the stat card says. 
Yes, I mean, uh, the bullet, the shells slow down eventually and drop into the ground, so I believe they do. Yeah. That was even a thing as far back as force archery. You could take a relatively weaker bow and firing it from a horse running toward your target at full speed, it would punch through more armor because it starts at the speed of the horse plus the speed of the bow. Exactly. Oh, that is so scary. Ow, my insides. So you can do attack runs with this thing and survive. For now. For now! <laughs> For some reason you were able to penetrate my armor and almost destroy my forward um, inner armor of my ar uh, ammunition story. Yeehaw. God bless America. Also, at higher battle ratings with more modern uh, naval vessels, they won't have such thick armor, so these rockets would do even more. More. Exactly. What an interesting idea. High tier aircraft versus high tier naval forces. What's coming in the next few years to War Thunder? Do you remember the Italian ship that blocks? Ah, uh, remind me. They uh, made some devil blocks of the an uh, Italian World War II cruiser, I believe, and a destroyer. In like 2017 or... Oh, that, that damage view looks so awesome. Just waves of rockets coming in. My everything is hurting. <laughs> Tell me about this Italian devlog. Uh, I think I can find the link. To give me a second. I wonder what a 10.0 naval vessel would look like. Probably a submarine at that level. Subs and like badass multi role vessels. Will we get Stealth Destroyer? Yes. Always. You know there's gonna be a stealth update for War Thunder where they introduce stealth technology. Stealth tank, stealth jets, stealth boats. <laughs> So on the 27th of October 2017, they said um, MS-74 Series 2A torpedo boat made in Italy. Uh, more than we present the MS-74 torpedo boat from its second production run, but they never say when. Uh, Okay, here. Uh, this very boat will introduce War Thunder players to s small Italian ships in the upcoming testing session for the Italian naval forces. Get involved in the fleet. See you soon. Interesting. Yes, I know they have some destroyers and cruisers. Yes. They always seem to have like a, a quirk with the new naval trees. The The Soviets have a lot of like heavy armor riverboats the the Japanese have their long lands torpedo and the poggers I wonder what the quirk of the Italian Navy would be and the, the devil blog it the first light cruisers in War Thunder had the Italian ships, so... But where are these? Will they be in Area 51 tomorrow? Hehehe. <laughs> oh, is that tomorrow? Yes. We will find uh, out the Gaijin's uh, secrets. Secret documents revealed. So this thing isn't too terrible against uh, naval vessels with the standoff range you can have with these rockets. Maybe it is because you have barraged 
sneaky near death. Oh god. Ow. I'm getting Bismarck flashbacks. <laughs> Oh wait, something is on fire. <laughs> Brooklyn is just making these cute little squeaking sounds. She's having a good time. She's got a good life, man. Kids are always so oblivious about the world. It makes me kind of happy. took like 700 rockets <laughs> that is pretty satisfying though that is pretty satisfying I got the new camouflage for the Nuremberg which is pretty neat cool oh I got the um, US Air Force um, decals Yes, During the event the yesterday, uh, they're pretty neat. Had them. Yeah, I really like this F eighty nine D. I think it's gonna be the one that I really fall in love with. The B is really strong, but it's it's just a good version of a pretty standard jet. The D is a weird and wonderful beast. It's very good. Valve 6 C, 1941. Okay, I'll get it nice and close. Without firing rockets this time. <laughs> I was just doing science back there, now we can be friends again. I might have changed, accidentally put the password as banana. Oh, okay, maybe that's why it's been so quiet in here. Yeah, I asked, thought about it, why is there nobody here? And then I saw your uh, announcement and I'm like, wait, I put banana. Ah, cool camo. I think you just disrupted every radio call they ever had. <laughs> and every... ...here there. Hi, baby! The baby's pulling herself up on the bars of the baby gate. She's such a cutie. Hi, baby! Hot? Uh, apparently Guppy's cooking something that's hot. She's been all about cooking lately. It's Coco! Coco? Yeah, Coco. Coco! <laughs> she's busy cooking. She's got a little fake ketchup bottle and she's saying Coco. I guess it's chopped. Hi, baby. Need to get that off. I just had a HR spark on a Nimrod Mark One. I just want you guys to know that. British bias. <laughs> it detonated to no effect. I'm telling you, the British are overpowered. Got that kill though. Jeez, these rockets are so fun to play with. And apparently, in real life, they were radar proximity rockets. How cool would that be? Just a hundred dummy fire missiles. Be as cool as the F 89 getting its nuclear warheads. The nuclear bombs.
You can set these to distance fuse though, so that could be cool. You know, set them to like 0.6 and then just uh, shotgun somebody with them. Then you won't have to worry about the uh, convergence. So Toshi, a long time no talk. Hello! Who is this? I can't see your name right now. Loaf Clarkson, whatever you want to call me. Oh, good to see ya! How you been, man? Good. Mainly been doing stuff on Steve's streams. Oh yeah, I've seen you around there. Mm -hmm. I pop in every now and then. A glorious lady. So how's the little toddler doing? Oh, she's doing great. And the uh, eight-month-old is watching me right now. She yeah. loves watching daddy. She's just practicing standing right now. <laughs> and watching. She's a lurker. Yeah, hi, little lurker! Oh, she's drooling and smiling. Hi, baby! <gasps> Shooting down biplanes with jet rockets is a little bit interesting. Oh, I see another jet. It just reminded me of my first word I ever spoke the baby with remote. <laughs> I think my sister's was chocolate. You know what your first word was, Toast? No, but I know that Brooklyn's first word was daddy. <laughs> she is a daddy's girl. I used to always call my mother daddy and my dad mother. Well, mama. Well, because that's what they're saying. You know, like Pokemon. They don't say their own name. And I'll bet it got their attention. <laughs> Certainly did. Never really great as a baby, though, well, weirdly enough. This turner it makes me want to cry like a baby. This wait time for 7.0 jets makes me want to cry like a baby. USA? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tosh, uh, if you could just fly in a straight line, I orders from the lower beach. No! I just sparked like five rockets off a new rock. Yeah, I know. I'm upset about it too, baby. Are you getting hungry? Okay, I think this toddler needs a nap. Or this baby needs a nap. I'll be back in like five minutes. Banzai. Tendoheka. Banana. I have to do a mil mandatory military service in Sweden. Yes? Are you saying you want to be a Swedish PBJ pilot? He... He... He left. Oh! I didn't know you had to do it right now! <laughs> <laughs> right after you said that, I just you just 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 just